Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me today. So today you're getting two videos in the same day but I wanted to do a review of the new and upcoming Charlotte Darling palette. Now you may think has she been sent PR? How come she's got it so quickly? I haven't got it and I don't intend to get it but I don't have to because um, if you look on Really Re's review she talks about it and the Charlotte Darling palette is a mini palette that has all repeats from previous palettes. Now, as you know, I own all of Charlotte Tilbury palettes, so I don't need to get the um, Charlotte Darling palette. I can show you the swatches right now, um, which is what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to do a look using those colours and those colours only. So for those of you that don't have stars in your eyes palette or the dolce vita slash bella sophia palette and are interested in buying this palette then keep looking um and you can see what look you can achieve with this palette that is about to come out if you do have the bella sophia palette and stars in your eyes then you don't need this palette unless you want like the shades all together and you want a little miniature um, palette that you can take away with you that have got those shades in it, then you might be interested as well. But I'm going to skip it because I've got those shades. And if you stay tuned, I'm going to swatch them all now. By the way, I've got my slobby makeup top on. So I just was very self-conscious about this. It looks like I'm wearing dirty tops, but I'm just, this is one of my tops that I wear when I'm doing a makeup video. I've put quite minimal makeup on today. Um, I've just put on Unisex Healthy Glow. I've put on um, my Aldi concealer. That is the dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury retoucher. And I've put on It Girl um, Bye Bye Pores Powder and It Girl Bronzer. And that's it. Because my eyes are feeling quite sensitive today. So I just didn't want to put on a lot of foundation that might get into my eyes. But let me just swatch you. So the new palette that's coming up is made up of six shades, I believe. And the shades that it's made up of are, first of all, the prime shade from the Bella Sophia, otherwise known as Dolce Vita palette. So I'm just going to swatch you that colour here. And I'm going to put picture of this at the end. So don't worry. OK, so I'm just going to put that up here so that you can see that one. So it's a lovely kind of oyster champagne colour. All right, then moving on, she's taken two looks from the Stars In Your Eyes palette, which I will show you. Well, what have I done with the box to cover the mirror? There we are. Okay, so here is the palette, the um, Stars In Your Eyes palette. So she's using colours from Love Eyes and Happy Eyes in the palette. So I'm going to show you the colours that she's using in this new palette. So first of all, she's using this enhanced shade here from Love Eyes. So I'm going to swatch you that one and put it here. A really creamy, lovely, peachy shimmer. Okay. And then she's using the smoke shade from Love Eyes, which is this one here. So I will swatch you that one. So that one is a matte shade, as you can see. All right. And then, okay. and then she's using the three shades from Happy Eyes, which is this set here. Okay, these three here. So I'll swatch those for you. So this is the enhanced shade. I mean the prime shade. Again, a really creamy, flaky colour because it's really creamy. All right, then the smoke shade. Uh, sorry, the enhanced shade, which is a matte. Darker than the one above. And then the smoke shade, which is the darkest one 
of all which is also a matte shade so i'm just going to take a photograph of those and i'll be right back Do you know what, looking at those colours together, I'd be so tempted to buy that palette if it wasn't for the fact that five of them are in this palette. So it's really only about reaching for one other shade to get your kind of prime shade. Um, and actually, there is, there's something pretty similar in the stars in your eyes palette. Let me just show you. I'm going to show you. So if I look, if I show you the prime shade of Dolce Vita Bella Sophia here, that's Dolce Vita Bella Sophia. If I show you, I'm just thinking which one is the closest. I think this one. If I show you the prime shade of Power Eyes, it's not that different. It's probably a bit more yellow toned, but you're really not going to notice that on the eyes. So if it was a real mixture of two palettes, then I might be tempted to get that colour combo because I think it is a beautiful colour combination. And certainly if you don't have stars in your eyes and you don't have the Dolce Vita, or even if you've got the Dolce Vita but you don't have stars in your eyes because it's only got the prime shade from Dolce Vita, Bella Sophia, and the rest of it is in stars in your eyes. But if you've got the stars in your eyes palette, you've got all the shades virtually apart from the prime shade, which as I said, is very, very similar, look at that, to the prime shade in Power Eyes. Okay, or you could even use the Enhanced shade of Power Eyes. Let me put that one next to it as well, show you that. You know, prime shades are prime shades, they're not that different once you get them on your eyes. So, but for those of you that missed out on stars in your eyes, here is a chance to get a beautiful miniature palette or if you love those shades and you don't want to carry around this huge palette and you just want something to take on holiday, maybe you're going to, away for Christmas and you want a lovely subtle look, that would be the time to get it. My sister's got her eye on this. Um, so, shh. I might, Santa might be bringing it to my sister. Shh. In case she's watching. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the prime shade of Dolce Vita and I'm going to put that on my eyes first. And I'm using Charlotte's blended brush. Okay, then next on in, I'm going to go in with the, um, the, the next shade that's in the palette, which is the Enhanced Shade of Love Eyes. And again, I'm going to put that over my lids and I'm going to put it generally everywhere I've put the prime shade except the inner corner. Beautiful kind of rose gold. And this is going to be such an easy look to achieve because these are so blendable and they really complement one another. So you won't have to do a lot of blending. Now I'm going to take a smudge brush and I'm just making sure it's nice and clean. And I'm going to take that underneath and I'm going to put that all the way along because that is a real brightener shade. It's not a dark shade, it's not going to close up my eyes. Okay, then next on in, I am going to um, use one of the matte shades from Happy Eyes. So again, this is not the next one, which is a shimmer shade, which is this one. I might come back to that one in a minute, but I'm going to use the matte shade that is this one here. Which is going to be the fifth one in that palette, Charlotte Darling palette. And I'm going to put that into the socket. Thank you. 
Again, I'm going to take that with the smudge brush and take it underneath to link it up. But just take it halfway along. Okay, and then I'm going to take her liner brush and I'm going to use, I'm going to, first of all, I'll take the smudge brush. I'm just going to build up that intensity with the very last shade of the palette, which is a very dark brown matte. And if you're a hoodie like me, this is perfect for just hiding that hood and making you look like you've got a deeper crease than you have. I'm going to blend that in in a minute. I'm just placing it first. And then I'm going to take it underneath as well, a little bit along, but again, not as far as that last shade. Okay, and then blend that out with my brush, my blending brush. Okay, and then I'm going to take a liner brush and I'm going to use the same shade to line my eyes. Just get the liner brush and I'll be right This back. is a bit like using the Audrey pencil because that's a brown, smoky kind of powder pencil. So this is just the same thing. It's putting a powder on, but this time with a brush from the palette. And it's just going to give me a soft line, not, not too intense, which is... You don't really want anything too intense with this, this look. Now I've put some underneath there with the liner brush, but I'm just making sure they're linked up like so. Now, just for the sake of using all the eyeshadows, I am going to take um, Happy Eyes the enhanced shade so that I, I'm going to fit that in somewhere this one here so that you can see all the shadows I'm just going to pop that into the outer corner of my mobile lid to give me a pop of colour And as it's a shimmer, I'm using my fingers because it's a very creamy consistency and it works really well with your fingers. Why does that look like a harsh line? Come on, go away, harsh line. That's better. And again, I'm going to take a little bit of that underneath. Just put it in the centre there. Just give me a bit more colour. And that's it. I'm going to put some mascara on and some brow products and I'll be right back in a jiffy. Okay, and I'm really delighted because I managed to find an unopened sample of MAC Upward Lash. I really wish they'd bring that mascara back. <coughs> anyway, I'm going to put some um, lipstick on. I'm going to start off with Pillow Talk Lip Liner, as usual. And then I'm going to choose a lipstick and a blush and I'll be right back. Okay, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of lipsticks, not hundreds, but 30 or 40 Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that would go with this look. Today I'm going to choose Stoned Rose because I haven't worn that for a while. And just because I want to do it, I'll put a bit of um, lip luster over the top. Okay, Stoned Rose is actually the kissing lipstick from the Golden Goddess look. And the lip luster that goes with it 
is Ibiza Nights. Now, obviously, you can use different ones to try, but I thought, yeah, I'm going to use Ibiza Nights because it will just give it a bit more of a, a glow. Okay, so that is Ibiza Nights. I'll be right back. I'm just getting my... My hair keeps wanting to stick up here. It's really funny. Anyway, for blush, it just has to be Pillow Talk, I think. So I'm just going to swish. And pop. And last but not least, moving on to highlighter. I think I'll finish off using a bit of the Beauty Light wand, the original Beauty Light wand. I'm just squeezing some up into the tube and dot that in all the usual places. And a little bit up here, here. And I'm gonna put some in the inner corner as well in a second with my pinky. So there you have it, a look using the colours from the upcoming Charlotte Darling palette that is yet to be released, um, but using the colours. So I don't have the palette, just to, just to reiterate, I don't have the palette, but I do have all the shades that are going to be used in the palette. And so if you buy the palette, this is what it's going to look like. Okay, thank you for joining me and I'll see you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Love you all. Mwah!